Training Academy. I'm really excited for our workout today. We're going to work on strength. Grab a few pieces of equipment. You're going to need your exercise band, okay? You're going to need a set of free weights. I've selected 20 pounds, two 20 pound free weights. You could also grab two 10s, two 15s, um, or even have some 25s on the side, depending on the strength that you're working with, okay? Um, and you'll need a stability ball. Now you don't necessarily have to use a stability ball for this workout. You could just simply do this piece on the floor, but I'm gonna use a stability ball for added challenge, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and come, set up our space and come onto your back. Find your dead bug position. Okay, so on your back, and you're gonna take your dead bug position, you're gonna hold the ball between your knees, your hands, and I'm gonna push my hands into my legs, my legs back into my hands, and I'm squeezing my arms together and squeeze my legs together. So if you didn't have a stability ball, that's okay, you just come into your regular dead bug position, okay? And do your core breathing. Breathe in, breathing wide, exhale, breathing out. Think of guiding those hip bones together, inhaling and exhaling. So prepping the core for more challenge in our workouts. Inhale and exhale. Get the pelvic floor lifting up. One more time like that. Exhale. Now we're going to take opposite arm and leg. So you're going to reach your right arm and your left leg to the ground. Exhale, you're going to pull it back. Switching sides, left arm, right leg. Exhale. So you're pushing opposite arm and leg added resistance here. You really feel that fired up in the core. Inhale, lower, exhale back, okay? Inhale down, exhale together. We're gonna do eight aside. Let's do two more. And eight. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna come, so either, if you don't have a stability ball, stay on your back, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna lay back on your stability ball okay. into a, uh, your head on the ball. Just make sure that you can see me here. So my head is gonna be on the ball. My hips are gonna be in the air. My arms are in the air. I'm squeezing my butt. So we're gonna do our bridge hip lift. So inhale, the hips go down to the ground. Exhale, squeeze your butt, pull the hip bones in, lift the hips in the air. Inhale, you're going to lower down. Exhale, you're going to squeeze and lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to do 10 of these, okay? 10 total. Get the breath. where you're at. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Here we go. Take an inhale. Shoulder on top of your elbow. On your exhale, lift your hips. Brace the core and breathe in. Switching sides. Here we go. Legs extended. Take an inhale. Exhale. Make sure the lower rib cage isn't falling down. You're lifting up. Exhale. Bracing that core. We're holding. I think this exercise, you 
you're most meant to actually shake because shaking is definitely included over here. So if you're shaking, you're in the right place. All right, it's just the nervous system. Let's go into our final one, back into, onto our backs. Okay, so come back onto your back, dead bug position. Okay, you can use the ball if you've got one. Hands push, knees are squeezing as well. Inhale, opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're gonna go right into that, okay? Eight aside, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, you don't have to extend the leg all the way. You can just lower it slightly, same as the arm. If you feel it dumping in your back, if it feels like it's too much, and ten. All right. Come on up. Bridge hip lifts. So onto your back. Okay, hips up. Inhale, hips down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. your mat. And you're going to come into your side plank. Legs extended. Shoulder on top of your elbow. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Lift. Two. Three. Strong through the core, still breathing. Keep yourself lifted, engage through the obliques. And down, let's switch sides. Okay, legs extended. Take an inhale, exhale, lift. down. All right. Good job. Okay. I'm going to come into our next part of the workout, which will be our, our lift prep. So you're going to need to grab your band, take the band, place it around your ankles. So right around your ankles. Okay. We're going to do a lateral side step. We've done this before. Bend your knees, push your hips back. And start to step out to the side. Keep your knees pushing wide and together. So out to the side and together. So we'll do five in one direction. And then five back in the other direction. We'll do that two times. Okay. So make sure you're not leading with your toes. You're keeping your foot parallel. Okay. You should really start to feel this right in your butt. And again, one more side. And back. And notice I'm not waddling. I'm staying fairly plain, fairly consistent. Do as best as you can, and over time, you will be able to do that. Awesome. Grab your weight. Okay. I'm going to take one weight. Come into a half kneeling position. Grab the weight. Bring it in the air. You're going to draw a halo around your head. Squeeze your butt. Don't let the body sway from side to side. The core is packed tight. We're warming up the shoulders. Two, three, four, five. 
And then the other way, one. Everything's squeezing tight. And five. Okay, let's switch sides. There's like forwards. So squeeze your hips. You want to make it more challenging. Heel toe so that your heel and your knee are more in a straight line. And that's going to challenge your balance even more. So squeeze those hips. And we'll do five in both directions, okay? And five. And back the other way. Five and five. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. Weights can go down. So come up to stand. Now you're going to grab both of your weights and we're going to do our farmer carry. So you're going to grab two weights, standing up tall. You're basically just going to walk around your space, okay? So walk about 20 steps, regular steps. Okay, try not to fall over to one side. If you do have enough space to walk a straight line, walk the straight line, turn around and go back. Okay, so you're standing tall, you're getting used to holding weights. This is like reminiscing, bringing the groceries in from the car, holding onto those weights, bringing them in. Okay, awesome. Come back into your lateral side step. So one more set, grab your band, put your band around your ankles. Bend both of your knees, step up to the side, five in the one direction and then five in the other. Keep your knees wide, the chest tall. Okay, we'll go two times. Keep your head as if you were carrying a bowl of soup on your head, so you're not gonna let that soup tip. Good, half kneeling position with the halo. Okay. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your hips, brace your core, grab your weight, draw a halo around your head. So you're stepping firmly into that front leg. Five. So five in each direction. The core is tight and strong. Okay, and then other side. So half kneeling position, squeeze your bum, knead your core. And back the other way. And five. So grab hold of your weights and walk around, do about 20 steps. Okay, standing tall. Without you losing your balance, holding the weights. The weights pull you down. Your spine is long. Okay. All right, so our body is all warmed up and we're gonna be ready to move into our full body strength. So there's gonna be four exercises. You're gonna need your stability ball or a bench, okay? You can also do this on the floor if you don't have that for one of the exercises. You need both of your weights. I'm using 20 pound weights here, so anywhere in the range from probably 10 would be the minimum weight that you'd want, um, up to maybe 25, 30 pounds, okay? So whatever you got at home, 
and um, let's get started. Okay, so for the first exercise, you only need one of your dumbbells. Okay, you're gonna hold it with your hands on either side. Your feet are gonna be slightly wider than your hips, okay? What we're gonna do is this is a low to high chop. So you're gonna squat down and rotate the back foot in, the outside foot in, and you're gonna reach your arms down, and then you're gonna exhale, stand up, and reach your arms in the air, okay? So you squat down, you sink the let, let the knee fall in, exhale, stand up. So we're gonna do eight aside, exhale. So the closer you keep your arms to your torso, okay, the less intense the load is on your back. You wanna keep your arms further out, more intense. You could also do this holding your baby. You would hold your baby, with your arms underneath their belly with one arm swinging through the pelvis. <sighs> Only if your baby is obviously big enough to handle this type of swinging. Um, but they actually, we did this in class and the babies love it. Okay, so eight aside. And then eight to the other side. So you're gonna reach the weight down. Exhale, reach the weight in the air. Inhale now, exhale, lift. Two, <sighs> three. So you're low to high. When you go high, you're lifting up, reaching the arm up overhead, and bringing it down. Slowly down with momentum. <sighs> Drive up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. And one more. Okay. Next one, grab your stability ball. Again, you could do this one on the bench. You could do it on the ground. We're going to do a chest press. Walk yourself out. Okay, lean your head on the ball. Squeeze your bum, feet or hips distance width apart. The arms are up over your chest. Inhale, the arms are gonna bend down. Bring the weights in line with your chest. Exhale, push your arms in the air. Okay, so inhale down. Exhale, push. Think of squeezing the core tight as well. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze. You want to drive those hip bones towards one another. Exhale, push. And we're doing 10. Last one. Exhale, push. Okay, weights can go down. Walk yourself back up. Next one we're going to do is called an RDL. So you only need one of your weights for this one. <clears throat> okay. So you're going to hold on to your weight in your, your hand. So let's start with the right hand and then take that right leg back behind you. Okay, so weight is in the arm, same arm as the leg is behind. You're going to inhale, standing leg is straight or slightly bent, reach the right leg up like a teeter-totter, torso leans, Exhale, you're going to squeeze the bum and stand up. Okay, so you're going to feel this in the left leg. Inhale, reaching back. Keep the left toes and knees tracking forward. Exhale to stand. Now, by the way, your balance is feeling off. Go a little closer to a wall. Exhale to stand. But this is working also strength and stability in your torso, in your glutes, in your hips, in your balance. Inhale, we're going to do eight a side. Here we go. So the leg lifts, the torso leans, exhale, you squeeze and fire up the glute to come up to stand. Two more. And feel this right in your glutes. Last one. Go ahead, switch sides. Weight is in the left hand, left leg is back. Inhale, you lean forwards. Exhale, squeeze and stand. Okay, so inhale, exhale. could be easier to do. You may have better balance on one side than the other. Okay. Your next exercise, or your last exercise, 
So you're gonna lean on either a bench, okay? Or I'm gonna use the stability ball. So if you're leaning on a bench, you're gonna lay flat on the bench. You could also just lay flat on the ground. I like to do this close to the wall. So my feet are pushed into the wall, it's gonna help me keep my balance. Torso, ribs, lower ribs are pushed into the ball. The arms are down to the ground. You're gonna exhale, reach your arms out to the side, creating the letter T. Squeezing your butt, inhale, your arms are gonna go down. Exhale, thumbs to the sky. Okay, inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. Think of pinching at the squeeze, pinching, pinching a pencil between your shoulder blades. Neck is long, we're gonna do 10. Squeeze those shoulder blades, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so that's your strength complex. We're gonna go ahead and do that two more times. Okay, starting out with the low to high chop. Grab your single weight. Come up to stand, feet a little wider. Inhale down, exhale up. So driving up. Eight aside. So it's twisting through the torso. You're feeling a little bit of rotation. And eight. Other side. Exhale left. Twisting through, and eight. Next, grab your stability ball and your free weights. Come into your chest press. Chest press on the ball. Sit down, walk your legs out. So your head is resting on the ball. Your hips are lifted. Push your feet into the floor, squeeze your hips towards one another. Inhale, the arms go out wide, exhale, you push. So keep them in line with your chest. So you're not bringing your arms over your face. Okay, they're lower. Shoulders stay down, packed away from your ears, exhale. So you're starting off working and using a weight that feels comfortable for you, and then eventually over time, you can use heavier weights. Exhale, squeeze the hip bones toward the other, squeeze the butt. We're gonna do 10. Two more for me. Okay, and then you can start to walk yourself back up, putting your weights down. Come into your RDL. Starting with your right leg. Okay, right leg is back, weight in the right hand. So inhale, you're gonna lower down, like you're hinging from the hips, teeter-totter, leg lifts, torso leans, exhale, squeeze your butt. Move slowly like you're moving through resistance. When you stand up, power up through that, the back of the standing leg. Eight per side for this one. And eight. Other side. Hand to your hip, leg back. Inhale, exhale. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Awesome. Grab your stability ball or lay flat on your bench. Remember, you could also do this one straight from the ground. Your arms out to the side, squeezing the shoulder blades together. You won't get the full range of motion, um, but if that's all you have to work with, work with what you have. If you have a bench, lay your belly flat on the bench. And you can get your arms out to the side if you have a stability ball which I know many moms do because you use this right throughout your pregnancy to prepare for labor. So exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, 
Think of your body laying in a diagonal line. You could also use some light free weights here, maybe two to five pounds, maybe eight pounds over time. I like to pretend like I'm moving my arms through some really thick air, thick fluid, really sticky so you can add a bit of resistance going up and down. So keeping tension through the range of motion, 10. All right, that's two sets. We're gonna work on our third set. So when we do our strength exercises, it's okay to take a little bit more time in between, in between your sets, okay? Um, we're building strength, which requires, you know, some, some effort from your body, okay? Different than the HIIT training, um, where it's like go, 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 push harder kind of thing. Of course, always listening to your body. When you're really building strength, which is going to help you transform your body over time, it's okay to slow down. You want full effort. Here we go. Low to high chop. Squat down, rotate in. Press up, arms up, stand up. Inhale down, exhale, rotate up. So you can keep that weight further away. Remember, you're always using the core breath. The core is strong. Or you can keep the weight closer to your torso. Eight aside. Other side, one, and two, and eight, good, chest press, grab your stability ball. Grab both of your weights. Walk your torso out. Hips high in the air. Squeeze your bum. Inhale, lower your arms out to the side. In line with your chest. Exhale, push your hands together. So you're keeping the legs active. You're using your breath to push the arms in the air. Slowly lower your arms down. Exhale, power the arms up. And eight is your last one, eight. Walk yourself back up. Whew. Come up to stand. We're gonna come into our single leg RDL. Grab for your weight, leg extended. Okay, so think of that teeter-totter as the leg lifts, the torso leans forwards. Exhale, stand. Think of having energy through the sole of the back foot. Inhale, you reach back. Exhale to stand. Two. Inhale. And exhale. We're doing eight aside here. Squeeze your butt at the top. Keep the knee from rolling in. Keep that glute engaged. And eight. Other side, inhale down, exhale left, and two, three, squeezing your butt, four, five. Now you don't have to lower all the way down, you lower as far as it feels accessible to you, and lift back up. And down, good, last one. Home stretch here, home stretch. Grab your ball, come close to the wall. Laying on your ball with the lower rib cage touching the ball, your body's in the diagonal line. Push your feet into the wall, squeeze your bum. Exhale, thumbs to the sky, pinch the pencil between your shoulder blades, inhale down. Exhale, lift.
quite done. We have one more thing we're going to do. Okay, we're actually going to do a little bit of conditioning at the end of this workout. Short and sweet. I love short and sweet. Okay, so clear some space. You'll need about the space uh, just a little bit wider than your mat. No equipment required for this next one. Okay, so there's three exercises. We're going to do each of the exercises for a set number of reps. You go as hard as you're able. There's going to be a little bit of rest in between. We're going to rotate through each of the exercises three times. So the first one you're going to do is a lateral side step, side to side. Get a couple shuffles back and forth. If you want to, sink down at the end of your shuffle, side to side. Okay, we're doing 30 there and back. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 20. How about that? Okay, that one is 20. Okay, your next one is going to be 30. So take a little break, walk it out, chest tall, breathe deep into your belly, in and out. Okay, so the next one is going to be 40 per leg. So you're either going to do in, in, out, out, so forwards and back or you're going to do a hop switch. Okay, this feels it's a lot more load on your pelvic floor. If you're fairly ready for that, here we go. Count to 40. Six, seven, eight. You go as fast as you can. Walk it out. So 
allow our heart rates to come down, calming the nervous system. And then we get ready for our next challenge. Remember this one, the lateral crossover. So you cross the outside foot to the middle. You take two steps to the outside. So you're moving laterally from side to side, trying to keep your hips facing in one direction. Here we go, side to side. And 20. All right, two sets done. One set to go, walk it out, keep, keep the chest open so you can breathe deep instead of hunching over and gasping for breath, okay? Get the chest open, allow the breath to come into your body. Whew. Okay, here we go again, 20 touches, lateral shuffle, here we go. Here we go. Quick feet. Challenge yourself. And 40. Whew, 40 down. Amazing. Got our last one. I'm just gonna do our lateral crossovers. It's always good to move our body in different rates, different ranges of motion. So it's not always you know, unilateral, forwards and back. Side to sky, side is um, definitely important and necessary. So you can dodge over the Lego. Okay, hop stepping over the Lego. Here we go. Cross, step, step. And 20. That is 20 for me. Whew. Take your arms up over your head to the sky. Give yourself a pat on the back. Let the breath fill your lungs. Whew. Amazing. You're going to get these benefits from your strength training and from your conditioning. And it should energize you for the rest of the day. Um, if you're doing your work at the end of the day, no problem. See if you can do a little bit more of a stretch, relaxation, calm down the nervous system so you're ready for sleep, okay? So take some time to do a little stretch or rollout at the end of this practice, at the end of this video. Have yourself an amazing day. And remember always, as usual, be mom strong. <laughs>